DTD Auto welcomes everyone. Today, we will make a video with the purpose of teaching mechanician how to renew back ECM ID in the ECM directly with the ECM placed on the table instead of doing it on the motorcycle like the previous video. We want to guide you on how to plug and connect and especially want to introduce the ECM ID renew adapter. This is an accessory you need to buy. The cost is very cheap. When you buy this adapter in combination with MotoScan Tab software, you will be able to do the Renew ECM ID function inside the ECM of most types of Honda ECM. We have tested many times with many types of ECMs and tools and have performed successfully. Although, we have not had the opportunity to test 100% of the vehicles on the market. Based on our understanding of electronics, this function will basically work well for most vehicles on the market Vietnam, as well as international markets. Now, let's follow the screen so we can start working. We would like to reiterate that there is no need to wait until version 2.7 to use this function. Just buy this adapter and contact us for support in updating version 2.6.3 already supported Renew ECM ID function. This is a function for Smart Key, so we select Menu, Smart Key. Continue, select, Honda. Depending on the type of vehicle, we choose the corresponding SCU type. It will automatically recognize what type of ECM it is. So you don't need to care about the ECM code anymore. For example, select SCU, K2C. Select, Renew ECM ID inside ECM. These operating instructions are for implementation on the vehicle. But if you operate directly on the ECM, you can skip it. Select, Continue. In this situation, you choose type 1. You can zoom in to see clearly. In this type 1, you do not need to operate on the vehicle, but we operate directly on the table with a separate ECM. The software provides extremely detailed connection instructions. Now, please watch on the screen and watch our techniques in action. In particular, when we look at the instructions, the connection only has three wires, K-line, 12 volts, and GND. We must plug in the correct pin positions on the ECM. There are many different types of ECMs, and the pin positions are not the same, so we cannot make uniform instructions for all types of ECMs. So you must look up the diagram in the lookup section on the MotoScan tab. You select the left column. Select, look up and calculate. Select, technical documents. Select, Honda. Select, Vision 2021. Select, Electronic Fuel Injection System Diagram. We only look at three wires. BAT, A4, Ground Pin, A39, and K-Line Pin, A29. You can scroll down to look up the ECM pin to connect. 
We have provided you with a package that includes an auxiliary plug. You will plug in according to the instructions on the screen. Each vehicle will have a different pinout, so we will not specify which pin to plug in. Next, we plug the cable into the adapter. Then plug it into the MotoScan tab hardware. Note, you must plug in the power source in this location, not in other locations. Let's look back at the entire connection process. The ECM is connected to the MotoScan tab hardware, set via the adapter, the power plug location. Note, this adapter will not be included in the standard accessory package, because it will depend on the customer's needs. Next, we return to the Home menu. Select, Continue. After Renew, this ECM will be the same as the factory ECM, and we can register it with any other SCU, with just a few steps of turning the key, on, off, on the motorcycle according, to the manufacturer's prescribed process. This is a solution to help you quickly, take advantage of lost ECM ID. Yes, we see that in a very short time, the ECM connected to the MotoScan tab system has been renew ECM ID inside the smart keys memory. Now, we just need to bring this ECM and plug it into the vehicle. Even though it was previously used and registered with another vehicle, it's okay because if we have renewed it, we just need to reconnect it to the vehicle that needs to be used with this ECM. We only need a few manual registration steps as prescribed by the manufacturer as we have instructed in the steps above. Then we can start the engine in a very simple way. Thank you for watching and please help us share videos like this to let more people know so you can have a perfect toolkit. Everything in one. You also do not need to buy other machines on the market that do not run stably like we have done professionally. We had to research very carefully and thoroughly so we can guarantee you the quality. When you use it, it will be very stable and durable over time. Thank you all for watching this video.